All right. Hello, STMS. It's Mrs. Dobbins here. I am interviewing Mr. France today, who is going to um, make all of the rest of us teachers jealous. He gets to retire at the end of the school year. Very big congrats there. Um, he has served Susquehanna Township as a health teacher, coach, and educator for 28 years. So it will be super sad to see him go, but it's a long time coming and I definitely think you deserve some time to relax. But um, if you could just talk to us today, Mr. France, about some of the changes you've seen, um, you know, in and out of the building and how maybe it's affected your style or how you were able to adjust. Well, all right, thank you very much, Ms. Dobbins. Um, yeah, I'm, today I'm just gonna talk about physical changes of the building um you know the outdoor uh, uh you know part of it um the grasslands if you will the athletic fields and things like that uh, a, a lot of people um you know we just come to the building and we come to the campus and we say oh this is really nice um however let me give you some changes that happened out back okay um where mrs kelly uh, enjoyed many years of field hockey up there. That wasn't always a field hockey field. Oh. Prior to that, the middle school enjoyed uh, four tennis courts. I never that, knew that were back there. Yeah, there were four tennis courts. Um, unfortunately, they fell into a little bit of despair there. They they needed some help. Um, uh, you know, with uh, being kept up. Yeah. And so with field hockey and not really having a, a feeder program into the high school, um, we decided that maybe we should take the tennis courts down and make a field hockey field out of that, Absolutely. which was, yeah, which was really cool. That, that was yeah. good. So now, now we have a feeder program and, uh, you know, the field hockey uh, high school team is, is doing really well. You know, mm -hmm. it, it's getting there little by little. That's right. Okay. Also out back, a lot of people don't realize this either, um, since the tennis courts were, were removed, where the high school and our middle school plays soccer uh, over on the other section out back. Well, that used to be a football field. Okay. And the middle school used to have a football team. Now, I'm gonna go back many, many years uh, before we were all considered Susquehanna Township Indians, uh, the middle school uh, nickname was the Golden Bears. Oh, I yeah. thought that was and a joke, but that has some. <laughs> no, that yeah, that that was true. <laughs> and obviously, our school colors were uh, uh, black and gold. Obviously, mm -hmm. okay. And there were actually stands there, uh, nice stands that um, parents could sit in. The um, music director back then, his name was Mr. Dunn. And Mr. Dunn, uh, just like the high school, uh, we, or they, uh, the, the uh, band, the band used to dress in their black and gold uniforms and go out and sit in the stands and, and play for the uh, football games. Awesome. So it was really cool. We had a middle yeah. school schedule and there were 10 games on the schedule and uh, it was a feeder program, obviously, for the high school, okay? Mm -hmm. Now, the high school was obviously always the Indians, okay? Uh, but the uh, junior high slash middle school, uh, we were called the Golden Bears way back Very when. Cool. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, I saw that on a random file somewhere, and I'm like, huh, maybe this was a team's name, but there is some traditional evidence for it. <laughs> yeah, there you go, there you go. Um, the baseball field, was actually just a junior high uh, middle school if you will baseball field the mm -hmm. high school played up up at the high school where the girls softball field is right now okay uh home plate was moved back a little bit because of elmerton avenue you know and and progress avenue there but the high school actually played uh right there um and uh the middle school had a team and not everybody in the area had um junior high baseball yeah um so the schedule was limited but uh that used to be solely the the middle school junior high field yeah and then 
Yeah, and then when they decided, because baseballs were flying across <laughs> Progress Avenue as Hitting kids cars. got stronger, <laughs> that wasn't a good thing. Um, <laughs> cars would sit at that red light right there and, you know, get pummeled by home runs. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't a good thing. They decided to then make that the softball field okay, uh, for the high school and then bring the high school baseball field over to the middle school, you know, area over there. Awesome. So, yeah, so that's some changes um, outside the building that people don't realize. Um, yeah, absolutely. I definitely learned a lot. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't up till about maybe 15 to 18 years ago that a lot of those changes, you know, took place. So if you're a new teacher uh, in the building, those are some changes uh, on the outside <laughs> For sure. that, that have taken place over the over the years. Um, inside the building, it is very, very uh, um, interesting. Um, the new wing, which we refer to, you know, the, the new wing uh, there, it actually is a, a new wing. And there was a teacher um, that along with myself, her name was Mrs. Fitton. Um, Mrs. Fitton and I had a bird's eye view of watching the new wing go up. Uh, we had we taught from trailers outside. And every day we could watch the workers and, you know, what they got accomplished and things like that. But the middle school now, now you have to picture this from the cafeteria. OK, um, walking up where the, the band room is or the music area and then turning right at the main office, mm -hmm. walking down the, the main hallway there, and then turning right again right. and going to um, Mrs. Fry's room, mm -hmm. okay? The building used to be in a U shape, just a horseshoe. That's all yeah. it was. And then we connected, we didn't, but the workers connected sure. it. <laughs> I didn't pick up a cinder You block. and Miss Fitton out there, I see it. <laughs> yeah, there, there you go. <laughs> Um, they connected the horseshoe shape and made it a square. Okay. And it was, um, once they made it a, a square, things started to change a little bit and, and we became more organized, if you will. In the main hallway, um, right across from the girls and guys bathrooms, uh, it's room number one, I believe. Mm -hmm. OK, yep. right there from room number one to my room, room number four. OK, all the way up the left hand side of the main hallway. That used to be the library. Huh. That whole Back area. In, yeah, it was the, okay. the library was long. OK, uh -huh. very long and skinny, um, but that was the library area and that was in the mid 80s. I believe, well, from the beginning to about the mid 80s. And then when they decided to move the library down to where it is right now, that used to be the shop area. Oh. Uh, woodworking and metalworking and things like that. And you used to walk into the shop in the same doors and you would walk down. And the first area that you were at, uh, students had a chance to learn a little bit about woodworking mm -hmm. and uh, they used to make things and stain and, and, and you know uh, areas and things like that um, over where the wave is right now the wave studio uh, that area was a uh, metal metal shop okay and and they would melt down metals in there and and I don't know yeah. I, I made a I made a chess set <laughs> very I cool was there and yeah. it was really cool, you know, I, I poured yeah. the king and the queen and the knights and things like that. Um, we had molds that we made and then uh, I made a chess set in there one time. Very cool. So um, that's basically it. So now we're in a square, OK, instead of in a in a horseshoe shape, we're now in a square uh, where Mr. Weyenmeyer's room uh, is, uh, Mr. Zach, Mr. Z, mm -hmm. um, that used to be the cooking room. Okay. And there used to be, um, I don't know, 10, 12 ovens in there. 
and you could tell when it was uh, chocolate chip cookie day, you know, because oh. the aroma went all over the yep, school. the whole hallway. <laughs> yeah, it was really cool, you know. Um, what do they call that? Um, like home, home ec? economics. Yep, yeah, home ec. home economics. That was part of the home ec area where Mr. Zach is. And then down a little bit from him, it's not quite as far uh, down the hallway as like um, the ISS room. It's not that sure. far down, but connected to home ec mm -hmm. uh, was a sewing room. Okay. And everybody in the building learned to sew. It was really cool. The girls, yeah. I'm going to go sexist here, but the girls were really good at it. And the guys had no clue. They're, they're, they're you know, they're, they, okay. their, their stuff just came out and there were holes in, you know, the, the material and everything else. It was, it was yeah. hilarious. But um, two things that the Susquehanna thought everybody should learn is how to cook and how to mm -hmm. sew. Yeah. So good skills to have. That was kind sure. of, huh? I, those are two very good skills to have for sure. Yeah, I mean, you know, nowadays things are disposable. You know, you get a hole, you throw it away and buy new pants. Yeah. But then you buy new pants with holes in them, you know. To, so anyhow, um, so those were some things that were a little bit different back then. Um, I know that Dr. Nice and, and Mr. Smith, they still have the, you know, band. You know, we mm -hmm. just had a chorus, or of course, we just had a uh, uh, thing outside up at the high school, you know, and it was really cool, really good. But um, we actually had a marching band and they played for the uh, football games and, and things okay. like that. So that's a little bit different uh, with me being there uh, <clears throat> many years. I mean, um, you know, growing up, Ben Franklin, he was my neighbor and, uh, you know, I held the kite for him when you know, <laughs> he did the electricity thing. So <laughs> I've been around for a while. Um, uh, my entire career, though, has been spent at the middle school. That's awesome. Uh, all 28 years. And I, I thoroughly enjoy uh, teaching sixth, seventh, and eighth grade. It yeah. is amazing. Uh, all the students that I've had, uh, very enthusiastic. Uh, a, a, a zest for learning and uh, I really have enjoyed my time there that's awesome. so yeah that's about all I have for right now um, yeah. we can talk about curriculum and things you know in another interview sure but, uh, I, I basically wanted to go over the physical difference yeah the physical history uh, and tradition school. yeah and and I think our movement towards being, you know, diverse and accepting and inclusive of everything, there is still a place for our history and our tradition. So I think it's great that I know I definitely learned something today and every student watching it will too. So um, yeah, thank you so much for running us through that because you never imagined what it was like, especially out back. That's pretty crazy. Yeah, out back, it, it, was, it was totally different years yeah. ago. It really was. Um, yeah. one, I'm gonna throw in two more things. The middle school where we're at, that used to be the high school. Okay. Yeah, it, in, in years ago in the 60s. Now, right. I wasn't there in the 60s, but it used to be the high school. And then they figured as, as Susquehanna Township got more developed, mm -hmm. um, we had more families move, moving in, that they better build a new building. Sure. So the yeah. high school was built, um, and I think in 1964, uh, don't quote me, but I think in 64, the high school opened and then uh, our building became the junior high school. Very cool. Yeah. So, so. yeah, that's a little bit of history there. Yeah. Uh, behind me, uh, up on my porch, uh, up top uh -huh. there, that is the original Indian that used to uh, be out front of, of the high school uh, sign. Okay. Out there. Very cool. So, it looked like one from Roscoe Warner Stadium. I wasn't sure which one it was. <laughs> it, it was the original out front that you could see from Elmerton sure. Avenue. Um, what an honor we won't to go have. into <laughs> we won't go into how I got it, but I have <laughs> it. <laughs> and it's it's a little bit sun stained. The the white became yellow, you know, a little yeah. bit. But it was outside for what the guy tell me, twenty four years uh, wow. on the original 
original sign. So a good piece of history I, to have there. I, yeah, I, I, I got it. Um, <laughs> and it's hanging. It's hanging on my back porch. So there, there we go. There you go. You, you uh, have it up with pride. I love it. <laughs> Absolutely. Great. Well, thank you so much for talking to us today. And we greatly appreciate it. And hopefully we can get you in for another interview or two before you leave us. We're going to try and get you for all your worth. <laughs> OK, absolutely. I'll be more than happy. So thank you all very right. much. Thank all right. you. Have yep. a great day, you. STMS. <laughs>